guys, it's Drew, and I finally have my April favorites video. I know it's been about a week since I posted, but um, it's okay. I was actually a little bit sick, uh, sick to the point of where I couldn't even order a Starbucks drink. I was going in, and I couldn't even speak. Like, I literally lost my voice for a good three days. Um, thankfully, I didn't have any oral presentations or anything during school. I didn't have to speak in, like, classes or anything. But um, I was not able to, of course, film a video because you guys would not be able to hear me. But anyways, I am back and better than ever, and I'm going to be doing my April favorites for you guys. I have a few um, cool different products for you, some jewelry, some um, fragrance, accessories, things like that. Just anything I, I felt like I liked during the month of April. And let's just get right into the video. So the first product or item is this Versace fragrance. I have had this for a long time. I actually probably got it when I was in 11th grade, my first one on a cruise, and I used it all up and I didn't repurchase it till pretty recently, but I'm obsessed with this Versace fragrance. I, I got it and I love it. It literally smells so good. There's no way I can explain it. It's really musky. It's sort of like Abercrombie's Fierce, if you know what that one is, but I feel like this lasts all day. I personally can't smell it on myself all day, but I really can't even smell it on myself just because of how often I wear it. But people tell me that they can smell it all the time, and they say it smells extremely good, and I've gotten multiple people to purchase this cologne. It's awesome. I'm obsessed with it. The next item are these amazing vintage inspired Ray-Ban sunglasses. Um, I picked these up on the Ray-Ban website a few weeks ago in like the middle of April and I am obsessed with these. They are so cool. They are the green, um, the green ones. I actually um, wish I would have gotten like just the plain black ones or something, but these ones are pretty cool because I feel like the mirrored lenses are pretty trendy right now. So um, they're really I love them a lot they look like this on they're the vintage inspired ones with the gold frames on them and I've just been wearing them as my daily sunglasses pretty much every single day I possibly can this next item was actually sent to me by the company I think mid-April and I have been wearing it every single day if you guys have been checking out my blog for my outfit of the days or my Instagram or whatever which um, all of those links will be in the down bar below if you guys want to check those out I have uh, this new watch that this company called Cogito, I think it is, Cogito or Cogito, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but um, I'll leave a link to their website below, you guys. This is awesome. It is a smart watch. I've never seen anything or heard of anything like it, but basically you link it up through, via Bluetooth to your iPhone using an app that you download, and it will actually notify you if you have a call, if you have a... Um, email, if you have a calendar event, a text message, anything, it will sort of vibrate on your wrist a little bit. So maybe if your phone's in another room or if you have it on vibrate and you don't hear the call, which is my problem a lot, I always have my phone on vibrate due to like classes and such, you can actually, um, it'll notify you and say like you have a call, it'll just vibrate with a little um, call icon and you can go find your phone and get your, retrieve your call or whatever watch, even if it wasn't a smart watch. So um, it's black, and I know that they have white, and they also have another collection called like ColourPop or something that has multiple different colors, but it's black, and you can click the little buttons on it, and it will change between the date and a actual digital clock, and it also has like an analog clock on it as well. So it has all of these really cool features. I'm obsessed with this watch. Next are some rings I actually picked up at H&M, and these are really cool. They're like midi rings. I've never been a fan of midi rings just because I think they're really feminine, but recently I've been into them. I don't know why, and I'm not sure if you guys can really even see these. Probably not. I'll have a close-up of them, but they are um, these gold, silver, and gunmetal, and what I like about them is that they're so simple. I feel like I could actually wear them. Some of, them, some of the rings that I see are just have little hearts on them or little um, like rope spirals and I wanted something that was really really plain and simple. I got all of these rings for literally $4 at H&M and they are all different shapes and sizes. So I've also been obsessed with long necklaces. I only have one at the moment and you guys have probably seen this one. It's this one that I purchased from Urban Outfitters and it's from their Union um, collection I believe. And it's just this arrowhead, and I have literally worn this almost every single day, and I want more necklaces so I can layer them. Jewelry has just been really popular for, or like, I have been really interested in it in the month of April, and going into the month of May right now. It's just been something that I've really been liking to layer and add a lot of to my outfits. Um, and especially silver, I've really been obsessed with the color silver recently, I don't know if you guys 
have been as well. I'm sort of like out with the gold and with the silver. Last month I featured a phone case and I have a brand new one. This one is from Shop Zero Gravity. I'll link you guys to their website below. I'm obsessed with this one. It is a really cool sort of angled phone case that has wood veneer on it. And I had a wood veneer phone case when I was younger or in I think middle school and I was obsessed. It was actually an iPod case. I was obsessed obsessed with it and I've always really been obsessed with like wood grain patterns and such so this was just a really great find I found online and their phone pieces are great quality and I love how they ship them to you they give you like a few stickers like a little bag and some other things that are really really cool they have a really cool Instagram as well you guys so definitely check out their website obsessed. and my last physical favorite this month are these cut off shorts I got at forever 21 I am obsessed with these I have worn them multiple times I featured these in my spring haul that I did um, a few weeks back, and they're just these little tiny cutoff shorts that I got for, I think, $12.80, and they're the only shorts, cutoff shorts, that I actually feel like I can wear. A lot of them just um, are really, really too tight. I'm not sure, but I will um, put a picture up here, you guys, as well, of me wearing them in one of my past Instagram photos outfit of the days. But I really love them. I want to actually go back and get a few more colors because this gray color just isn't working with every single outfit. I need some other colors as well, but as far as music goes, I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually post every single Sunday a new mix over on my blog, and my blog is iandrewscott.com. You can check it out. I post multiple times a week, um, whether it be a what I wore, a Sunday mix, uh, like a room inspiration, things like that. I just post whatever I personally am liking at the moment, and you can check it out at I'm Drew Scott. The link will be in the down bar below, but I was obsessed with Sam Smith. I don't know if you guys have checked out his EP. Definitely give it a play on Spotify or iTunes. It is amazing. It's just one of the best EPs I think I've ever heard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Drew Scott. You can also check out my lifestyle slash fashion blog which I post on multiple times a week at I'mDrewScott.com and you can subscribe to this channel if you enjoy these videos. Give this video a thumbs up, it always helps. Thank you guys so much for thumbsing up the video and leave a comment with what you guys would like to see or what was your favorite, um, favorite for the month of April. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye everybody.